Texas Tech basketball hosted the 10th-ranked Washington Huskies Thursday night in a game that kept fans on the edge of their seats. Brad Reese helped the Red Raiders get on top early, shooting 3-for-5 beyond the arc and contributing 14 points before the end of the half. Tech had an impressive showing at the free throw line as Nick Okori went 5-for-6 and contributed 3 steals and 10 points in the first. Tech led at the half 50-41. <laughs> In the second half, forward Quincy Pondexter helped Washington battle back, shooting 7 for 8 in free throws and tacking on 13 points. The lead changed nine times in the second half, and with a minute 17 left, Tech forward Mike Singletary landed a jumper to tie the game up 80 to 80. With 4.9 seconds left, Tech's Brad Reese fouled Elston Turner, and Turner took to the line for what looked to be a sure end of the game. Elston missed both shots with help from the near 10,000 in attendance. Washington coach Lorenzo Romar gave credit to the fans and said they better start backing their team. Pat Knight and his staff are doing a tremendous job with this team. It's a shame that uh, some decided to stay home because they missed a heck of a game. Uh, people really need to get behind this team here. Uh, because uh, they're exciting. I could see how they could be exciting, exciting to watch. Mike Singletary rebounded the miss with 4.9 seconds left and charged down the court and landed a three-pointer at the buzzard. A storming of the court ensued, but after the officials took some time to review the play, they decided the ball was still in Singletary's hand when time expired and the game went into overtime. <laughs> You know, I, I'd just like to start off and, and uh, thank the students and the fans who were just incredible tonight. We were warming up. I just looked at the crowd, and there was, you know, the stands were already full on the student section. And, uh, you know, that, that's that's a great thing. You know, that's, that's a big help for us because, you know, that's kind of a six-man that we got going on. And, you know, I'm hoping it continues, you know, and but that just comes along with, you know, getting wins. In overtime, John Robertson made two key steals and scored eight points, giving the Red Raiders the 99-92 victory. The Red Raiders' next matchup will be against TCU next Tuesday. For the Daily Toreador, I'm Edmund Rostrum. <laughs>